Okay, so hello, friends of golfers, talking more casting, right? So I'm going to go over a couple more things to help you today with drills for it, okay? Another cause, basically, of this. Um, and this is one I see quite a bit, okay? Um, I would say, I'm trying to think of percents, but it's a lot, okay? And this is the swing you say goes like this, okay? This massively broken down, and, and I look for it like this, and you can look for it look, look like look for it like this, is when you see the club, there's not much, the hands are right near the, near the head, okay? I talk to people about getting your hands as far away from your head and shoulder as possible, like they're way out here, okay? So what typically happens here is, you know, people think they have this real long golf swing when they're like this. It's like, it's not long at all. Now, it's long in a sense, but a long, I think above a Watson and John Daly is long swings. So they truly have their arms extended. They aren't fully like collapsed like this and they have a turn. So what our body does is this, let's say I turn back to like here and that's the only turn I have really. I need more of a swing. So I go like this. Oh, look, I'm parallel, <laughs> right? And basically that's what it is. If I want to turn, once this body is done turning, so I'm done here, this club should stop. I shouldn't have, any, it's called runoff. So if I'm up here, I'm done. Any more here like this, I can't get to parallel anymore at my age. I just, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I shouldn't say age because probably could be more limber, but I'm not. But if I turn, that's all I have. So if I go, okay, I swing to parallel, look what I have to do to get there, break down, okay? So what we see in this golf swing is this, here, and they start the down swing like this, okay? So you take it back, you get it real here, and then there's this move out like that, which a lot of you have. Now I just hit that, so you say, oh, it's okay. Yeah, I can time it out okay. I can go like this here, and I can go like this, and I can go like that. I can have a pretty good hit like that, right? But I'm not going to compress it. I hope you heard the sound of it. I'm, I'm not going to de-loft it like I want. I'm not going to get the spin I want. I'm going to hit some fat. I'm not going to be consistent with that shot at all, okay? Because what do we want? Do I want to come down like this? <laughs> or do I want to come down like this? Which one would you rather be? Okay? So let's talk about how we're going to get there, okay? I want to talk to you about one here. Uh, some like this, some don't. Uh, I would say those that complain about it, it's because they're hitting hitting the ball, I think. I, I don't even know if you need to hit with this one, okay? Like if, if I'm showing people, I just show it without hitting, kind of a claw grip, okay? Take my fingers, separate them like this, and I put it on the right side just like this. So my right hand goes on like a claw, okay? Now there's another way, another form we're going to do with this, okay? So I take some swings. <laughs> Did you see? Watch this. Right there, right? I didn't even do anything. Now, if you take this swing and you go real soft, I mean, I came in, I'm gonna do it here. Whoa, hands ahead, perfect, okay? So that's one way we can do it, okay? Um, that's called the claw. Another great way to do it is we put our hand on, so we got a left hand grip, right? And hopefully you folks have a good, nice, grip that most of you if you're casting is nice and strong so when you come club comes down it's more in a position like this so you have a nice grip that's on there nice and strong okay um we're going to put our right hand grip on and then we're basically going to take it off it's just going to be on the side like that okay so we're going to get real wide and just come down okay that's it we aren't going to put any pressure on that hand at all okay we're just going to come down I got my hand off. I just got the sides on there. What you're going to notice, folks, is his hands are going to stay back here longer, and you're going to start feeling the body moving, okay? A lot better. Because in essence, to fix this, okay, we have to start working from the ground up, okay? So if I'm here before this goes, okay? So... It's getting into this good position, working from the ground up. This part moves before my hands and arms go. That's the kinematic sequence. It's going with back to, I can't remember the second video I think I did for you guys, was the step drill. Because when we're doing the step, look how I get my lower body going right away. Well, the arms are still going up. That's the separation. That's the feeling we need to feel when we're doing the golf swing of going up. See how that started first, and this just kind of dropped a little bit. 
That's the feeling we need to get. And I'll promise you folks, it's not this. That's not it, okay? That's called spinning out. There's no power that comes from this. That's not what Rory does. What that does is this. I'll show you from this angle. So I'm gonna do the spin out. I go backwards and the club gets thrown out here and you go like that. That's not at all what we wanna do, okay? The hips do not get open from doing a move like that, okay? So I gave you two different drills what we're gonna do. To get to, we go claw. That felt really good, I could tell. And I hope you can hear the difference in sound of that. I didn't even swing hard at it. Next one, I'm just gonna put my right hand on the side. Your trail hand for you folks, okay? Same thing. I hope you can see how it's coming down with this trailing right here. Boom, okay? So mentally, we've talked, I had a video where I mentally talked about the cast, okay? Let's focus on that part too, because I'm a firm believer when I talk to people about this cast, and I talk to them about it and try to get down to the bottom of what is really going on with them. It's just this over thinking about hitting this ball and it's usually hitting this ball right in here, okay? So I try to change the mental image, okay? Because first off, we don't want to hit it here. We want the club coming down and having our low point in front. So I'm not trying to just go like this and catch this thing like that. I'm not even worried about that. I'm worried about rotating and feeling my low points up here because I'm coming down. I'm not even thinking really of hitting the ball. I'm thinking of swinging because I know that if I'm here, I'm gonna have my lowest point in front, hands are going left up there. So I, I've learned enough by doing this and playing long enough that I'm swinging the golf club. There's no thought for me in here of hitting this golf ball, okay? There's no thought that I have to stare at this golf ball like some people say, like that's only structure, okay? So I know that I'm just trying to get here and I'm trying to get the downswing started nicely if I have to think about it, but there's no thought of ever hitting this golf ball. So for some of you, which most of you have that issue, with the cast, you just wanna start thinking of, I, I, this is my thought for you guys, think about more speed out front, okay? Because your speed's all wasted right in here. So if I pull down right away, my speed's wasted back here. Just like the baseball drill, right? Where we hold it and then go, instead of like, this would be it, whoop, done. We wanna hold it, see the body's out of the way, and then look where we're at. That's what I want you to think. Like, it's this up here, we're rolling up huge, the body's way out of the way, and then we come in. But it's a swing, okay? So take your mind off the hit. Whether or not you have to think of this, maybe you're gonna think of, you're gonna go here and you're gonna hit every time you're gonna pose. It's just a pose for a finish. So your main thought when you're playing golf is you take a look at it and you go, okay. I'm just gonna pose nicely, okay? So folks, there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's nail this casting. I've given you a lot of drills to do it, a lot of mental thoughts to do it. This can be fixed, okay? I do it all the time here. Now, it's a gradual thing that happens. You don't do one of these drills and go, I got it. Remember, we work from up here. So if you have a big problem with this drill with this move, okay, you take this like this with a craw drill, go to the left arm parallel. You know, just swing like this. There, there. You're going to notice you're going to hit here. You just feel a little transfer to that left side and then go, okay? Thanks for watching. Eric Silver, EJS Golf.